In older homes, the window areas are usually the first that need repaired. Rain or humidity can rot the wood, but the wood can also be damaged by heavy objects or sharp claws. And I think in this instance, a Labrador Retriever got a hold of this. But whatever caused the problem, it can easily be solved quickly and inexpensively. This home is about 80 years old, so we just want to be careful and try to match this stool as best we can to retain the character of this home. The first thing that you'll want to do is remove these stops, which is this piece of board right here. And you're going to have four of them in your window frame. So I'm using a pry bar and a hammer to first loosen this board. And we want to be really careful since this wood is really old, like I told you, about 80 years old. So if you'll just take your time and slowly loosen this and try not to break it, then you won't have to replace the wood up here too. Now that the stops are off, we need to take off these casing trims, and there's three of them. And we're going to take these off the same way, just by loosening the boards first with our pry bar. And again, trying to be careful not to break these. On some of the casings, you may want to use a utility knife and just cut away the paint a little bit, and that's going to make it easier to get your pry bar in so you can start loosening. And that's three. We also need to take our utility knife and just cut this paint away underneath the stool. And then we can use our pry bar to loosen this the same way we did our casing trims. This board that's underneath the stool is called an apron. And we want to be careful not to damage that because that'll stay there while we make our repairs. Now I can use my hammer to pry this board up. The stool is nailed down to the seal, so I'm going to pry it up from this angle. Okay, hopefully this will just come right off, and it did. It's a good thing our stool came out in one piece, because we can lay it on top of this board and just trace around it to cut a new piece out. This is Steve Patton. He's a restoration contractor. He's going to be helping us out today. I would just lay the old one on top of the new one, and as uh, simple as just tracing it out with a pencil. Make sure it's on the end here, and just trace along. Steve bought this piece of cypress wood from the lumber yard, and it is a stronger wood than the pine, so it will last a long time. But the most important thing is to replace it with the same width of the stool that you're taking out. And in, and in this case, it's an inch and an eighth. You can use a jigsaw or a circular saw, whatever you have handy to cut out your board. That's right, and it is important to uh, follow your line and be on the outside of the line when you're cutting. We've already routed our board lengthwise to match the stool that we took out. And I'll finish routing this edge here. Okay, let's put this in and see if it fits. Okay, great, that fits perfect. Now I'm going to use some casing nails to secure this stool back into the window sill. These are two inch casing nails that I'm using, and we need to put about 10 of these in here to securely attach this stool. Our stool looks great, and we've kept the integrity and the character of the house. 
you can probably save yourself a couple of hundred dollars if you do it yourself, because I bet we spent less than $50. As soon as I put these casing trims back on and the four stalks on the side, we're done. And this whole project took us less than two hours.